5 Creepy Disney Urban Legends. Number 5. Real Skeletons. In 1967, when the Pirates of the Caribbean ride was opened, the Disneyland Imagineers thought that the fake skeletons at the time were too fake looking for the attractions. Instead, they obtained real skeletons from the UCLA Medical Center. Soon after the park received multiple concerns about the human remains, they replaced them with props. Rumor has it that the skull on the bed frame in the ride is still one of the real ones. Number 4. The Phantom Bellhop As legend has it, many years ago, in the Tower of Terror ride, a bellhop was loading guests onto the attraction. Suddenly, he just dropped dead, right on the spot on Platform G. Each night, the bellhop working each platform had to ride through and make sure that the attraction is running as it should. But the attraction would randomly shut down and the lights would go on and off. Some have even said that a ghostly figure would appear in the boiler room. No one even knew why he died, or how. However, though, he has never been said to be dangerous or out to harm anyone. Number 3. Last Request People have been rumored to dump their loved ones' ashes at this point. Popular spots include the Haunted Mansion and the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Two stories in particular stand out, both involving a mother dumping the ashes of her dead sons on their favorite rides. Supposedly, you can see the dead ghost boys crying on the pirate boat and in the haunted mansion. Number 2. Not So Small World Back in 1999, the classic It's a Small World ride in Disneyland had to be evacuated for an undisclosed reason. Just before leaving the park, a mother snapped a couple of pictures to finish off the roll. When the pictures were developed, one showed a blurry image of a limp, hanging child from the ceiling. Some say it was a suicide. Others say it was an accident. No park officials have ever confirmed what really happened during this event. And lastly, number one, Suicide Mickey. The story behind Suicide Mickey is that Walt Disney was said to have gone into the studio right before his death and spent days working on one single animation by himself. Exhausted, he came into Walt Disney Studios and chose one animator to show the film where he finished. The animator was alone in a room, watching the nine-minute movie. When the movie was over, he exited the room with a vacant look on his face. He walked over to a security guard. He is said to have muttered, Real suffering is not known, over and over again. And then, he pulled the gun, from the security guard's holster and shot himself in the head. It is a mix between jarring, repetitive visuals and truly discomforting sounds. It all feels very simplistic and stupid at first, but then the screaming starts and doesn't stop. The video has been known to make viewers dizzy, nauseated, and even suicidal.